Okay, I'm getting ready to start my next one. This one's a little bit different. This actually has a utilitarian purpose. Not that my other stuff doesn't, but this one, I'm actually going to design something that's going to make my life a little easier. And I may, well, I'm going to probably patent it because I don't think there's anything else there, out there like it. I haven't seen it anyway. So if I can, I'm going to patent it and see if I can make money. So hopefully by this time, I've already applied for the patent. Otherwise, it wouldn't be telling you my secrets. But here's the deal. So I live in the country. I've got an ATV. I use it for all sorts of things. I pull trailers. I pull spreaders and aerators and sprayers and splitters. And the thing is, some of my uh, the implements I pull have a tongue with a ball. And some have this tongue, I don't know what it's called, but it's not a ball. It's got to fit into a, like a forky prong thing. So. What I'm going to do, and so when I'm switching back and forth, I gotta put the ball on, take the ball off, put the ball on, take the ball off, and it's really kind of a pain in the ass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a bracket that will allow me to leave the ball on and pull uh, things like this that don't have the ball uh, tongue. And what's another thing that's gonna be nice is most of the things I pull are for actually tractors, like lawn tractors and they sit up a little too high on the four-wheeler, so this will drop them down lower so the spreader spreads the way it's supposed to and the sprayer actually is the right distance off the ground, so I'm kind of killing two birds. Um, it's a very simple bracket. Uh, it's just going to look like an S, and I'm going to start making it. I'm going to make the first one out of quarter-inch uh, plate steel or bar, steel bars, and if that doesn't work, i got a three-quarter-inch. I can try that, but drilling through a quarter doesn't take as long as drilling through a third, so I'm going to start with a quarter. All right, let's get started. Okay, I've got all three pieces cut. Now I gotta drill holes in them, one at the top that has big enough to receive a, a ball, and then one on the bottom big enough to receive the pin for the, um, for the other tongue. I made this little jig that I can put on the drill press instead of trying to hold these little pieces down, which would be impossible and dangerous. Put a little jig, fits right in there. Then I can drill in here without this thing, you know, tearing my fingers off or whipping some, um, whipping some clamps around. So time to get drilled. I started. I punched a little hole. I figured out where I want it and punched a hole. And then drilled a small hole. The starts at a small hole so that um, the drill on the hole saw won't, the drill bit on the hole saw won't skate around. Hopefully, I'm gonna loop it as I go. All right, I got the pieces cut, I got the holes drilled, now I just gotta weld everything together. Okay, a little more grinding. So this actually, if you can see, actually turned out all right. Those aren't bad welds there. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more grinding. Then she's ready for prime time. Okay. So it goes like 
So I could either do that or that. I'm gonna try that. And this is kind of, this got it's not flat under here. So I've got a big washer, that's what that washer's for. And this hole, when I do make my final one, this hole got a little bit big. It's a little bit sloppy in there. You definitely wanna fix that. Although this would look better underneath, I think. But it'd be interesting to see if this twists. I may have to put like little wings or something to keep this from twisting. But we'll see what happens. Well, bad news, friends. Look what I found. I found that uh, there's a couple different styles. This style has uh, kind of turns your hitch into a uh, receiver, which is kind of nice. And this one is basically what I did. Um, so I won't be making millions on this project, but that's okay. So this is my final product. Product. I added, with a little inspiration, I thought, yeah, why not add a little hook? I just bought this standard hook at, uh, at a uh, hardware store and welded it on the back. So, and then I rounded these edges off a little bit. And yeah, it turned out pretty good, I think. So this one right here, I think that one goes for about, that one goes for about 15 bucks. And I've got probably, oh, $30 in material and maybe 10, 12 hours into this one. Oh. Well, plus paint, so yeah, well, probably 30 bucks, plus 10 hours. So definitely came out ahead, no question about it. Okay, here it is in action. I've got this little spreader with the clevis uh, hooked up to it, and I can still put a ball on there when I'm done hauling this. Mission accomplished.